Good morning, fellas. We had a massive cold front come through yesterday. Today's Halloween, so happy Halloween. And we got snow on the ground. Things are kind of icy. So we're going to get out and do some duck hunting. I've got the quack yak loaded up here. And we're going to try doing a little bit of hunting out of it. Got two dozen decoys, or two dozen mallard floaters, half a dozen honkers. So we'll see how that does. I don't know if the honkers are necessary, but we'll give it a go. And then I've also got one spinner loaded up. It's a pretty clear day today, so I'd rather take it and not need it and then not take it and then need it. It'll be interesting to see how this goes. I've never hunted this area, so your bet's as good as mine. I, I scouted it as best as I could, so hopefully things turn out the way we want them to. But let's get on the road. It's cold. And uh, we're at the lake, got the kayak all unloaded. She's looking mighty fine. Gonna have the lights on, paddle, gun, all the good stuff over here. All the decoys piled up on the back. It should do. It's gonna be about a half mile paddle to where I'm planning on going, so that's not too bad. It's nothing out of the ordinary. I, I kind of I was using my base map app last night and drawing lines on it, trying to figure out the distance and comparing it to what I've done in the past. And it's a little farther than what I've done, but pretty close. I'm starting to regret not keeping toilet paper in my truck. I don't know man, I've never had an issue with it until this year. I don't know what the deal is, but the morning move is moving. <laughs> and uh, I can't let the floodgates go. But uh, today we'll be shooting these Black Cloud 3 inch 2 shots. Um, pretty dang good shells, so hopefully we can get them in shooting range and See what these things will do. But uh, yeah, time to get the camera put up and start paddling. This will be fun. We made it. I'm not necessarily in the spot that I thought I'd go to. I decided to keep it a little closer because uh, it's kind of a little bit windy. It's a new area. This is a great chance to kind of see everything in sunlight. So two dozen floater mallards and six floater geese and one spinner are out there. Sun's starting to come up. We got the quack yak. Stole some grass out of Adam's layout blind to uh, grass the kayak a little bit last night. So, man, it's a brisk morning. Beautiful clear skies. I think we're in for a good one, but I gotta get settled in here because we'll be shooting here in about five minutes. For this being the second kayak kind of this season, I mean, it's it's a true test of what I remember from last year. It's a totally different ball game when it's below freezing, man. It just you got to be careful and you really got to be dressed for the occasion so yeah we're set up on a main lake point here and i think we'll be getting a few birds we had a really good push yesterday so we'll give it a go might as well here we go we got a couple of ducks coming out looks like God, my gun's frozen. Okay. That was good. Those birds did what I wanted them to. But, um, frozen gun. The trigger assembly is all frozen up. I think I got her loosened up. That's the one thing about kayaking is, uh, your gun can get wet and then gets in there and freezes up when it's cold, so. That's good. Had a couple teal buzz in. Coming in low on the deck. Oh my gosh. Let's get readjusted. I can't keep having this happen. There we go. Hey! 
Get up. Get up. No. I can't even water swat a teal today. Oh my goodness. Daddy, there you go. After a few tries and a lot of misses, we've finally gotten on the board. Oh, you're still alive. I used my finisher on you. We got a nice gadwall. Good way to start the day. I'm gonna take care of you. But holy smokes, it's freezing out. I'm gonna put the camera down. My hands are frozen. We're gonna keep hunting. There we go. Here they come, here they come, here they come. Come on back. Circle on. Come on, come on, baby. Here they come, here they come. is bugging me. <sighs> Are they gonna come back? They did it so good, except the stupid trees in the way. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. It's okay, we'll get another group. <sighs> Rolled him. That's what I'm talking about. Right there. I think I can walk out and get this guy. Okay, now I know. Can't walk out that far. Holy smokes, that's a gorgeous Gadwall Drake. I just looked up and they were there. That's how it goes. Two on the board. Oh man. That thing's a beaut. I think we're back in the saddle again. Whew. Gorgeous. Gadwall Drake. Look at that puppy. That's awesome. I I don't even know what I was doing, but I just looked up and saw this group of Gadwees. Gadwalls just dumping in. Whew. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know what the deal is. I can shoot fine every day. Every day I'll shoot birds if I'm hunting and the birds come in. But for some reason, the early hunts when I'm in the kayak, I just have so much trouble shooting. Maybe it's just because I'm used to hunting out of A-frames and standing up and shooting. And I haven't really shot out of layouts a whole lot, but something about being in the boat where it's tight space, it just makes my shooting a little rougher. Especially when you're out in the open water. Like I've got, I'm on, I'm banked up here, so I'm not moving too much, but. Sometimes when you're out in a little more open water, you're bobbing, that can affect, but. Oh, that was awesome. That was awesome. I moved a few decoys, so this tree right here has gotten in the way a bunch of times. So I, I pushed the spread to the right side of the tree. So then hopefully these birds come right where I want them, right in front of me. Two gaddies on the board, four ducks to go. Gotta 
gotta go find that one that I just shot. Up to three. That was a little unexpected to be honest. Oh yeah. Nice, another gaddy. These boys are looking a little frosty. Gosh, it's so like, such a good day to be out duck hunting. Number three, heck yeah. There is a freaking pontoon boat just cruising along over there. It came through the fog and I'm like, what the heck's going on? And I look up here and there's a gadwall just dropping in. And that, that couldn't have worked out any better than it did because that boat was over there. I didn't want to shoot towards them. And that gadwall just came right over to the other side. So perfect, up to three gaddies. I'm going to be ecstatic if we can limit out with just gadwalls. That'd be awesome. That'd be so cool. I don't think I've ever limited on gadwalls before. So three to go. Shooting is on point. So shaking off that dust. Just, ooh, get rid of that. We're in the saddle. We're rocking and rolling. This is good. It feels so good to be back. Solo hunt in the kayak, public land. What more could you want? <laughs> There we go. Beautiful green. It's freaking stud. We got four ducks, so we need two more to finish out the limit. We're going pretty good, so we'll keep it going. Hopefully we can get a couple more big ducks to come in and uh, then we'll be packing it up. But all in all, I mean, I'm, I'm super happy with the way today's going and just by chance, I was able to get off work today. It's a good day, it's a really good day. We'll get hunkered back in here and hopefully we get some more action soon. Shovelers. Hey! There's my limit. Spandies, bro. Oh yeah, spoonies. Look at them lips on that sucker. Hey, that's a good looking one. Oh, hey Hollywood, how you doing? Okay, that's a great way to end it right there. Limited ducks. Got two spoonies, got a hen right here. Mm, pretty. And then we got old Mr. Hollywood. Look at this guy. Just starting to get his colors. Got the belly, it's all brown. His head. Starting to get a little green on there. Golly, there's some ugly sons of guns. So, you know, starting out pretty rough this morning. I think we we really turned the, turned it around and smacked them. This was fun. This is a fun hunt. I'm so happy to be back out doing some duck hunting out of the kayak. Just just so peaceful out here being by yourself having a nice little morning shoot. I think it's safe to say that the cold weather did bring in some ducks. It was pretty slow before we got that cold front a couple days ago and now just limited out. So that's good. It's good to see the migration finally kicking off and getting down here because I was getting a little concerned. <laughs> And this weekend, we've got the uh, get together for the Flyways Collective, which will be super, super fun. And I'm looking forward to that. But we got three gaddies, one teal, and two spoonies. That's a good day. I've got to get all this picked up and paddle out here and 
I'll check back in with you guys when I get back. This hunt turned out way better than I expected it to. I knew it was going to be decent. I knew we were going to get some birds to come in, but I did not necessarily expect it to turn out the way it did. Got a stud gaddy. I mean, just it's a gorgeous looking bird. I like how they get this like coloring on the feathers on their chest. Good looking bird. Got a couple other gaddies, not so pretty ones. Got old Susie Shoveler and Mr. Hollywood over here. Still just just starting to get the colors. And we got just look at that green wing. Get the light on there. Fully plumed green wing right there. I, I like their heads, I really do. I like I like the colors on them. I think they're cool birds. We started out pretty rough today, but I think we recovered pretty well. I can't believe that the trigger assembly, like my trigger froze. I couldn't pull the trigger on that first bird. You know, that kind of thing happens, especially in a kayak and you just gotta shake it off. There's just something special about being able to go out on a solo duck hunt in a kayak. It's really grown on me since I started doing it. And honestly, I think it's my preferred way to duck hunt. Going out hunting with your buddies is pretty fun, but I thoroughly enjoy just going out by myself, doing my own thing, not having to worry about other people and just kicking back and relaxing, just enjoying everything that goes on on a duck hunt, sun coming up, all the birds working, and I don't know, it's just something that I'm, I really enjoy doing. I think those black clouds worked really well, and uh, once I started actually hitting the birds, I didn't have any issues, and it just took me a little while to get back in the swing of things and get in the rhythm, but once I found that rhythm, man, I was on. So if you guys like this video, be sure to leave me a big old thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. You guys can follow me on my social media. I've got a Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. So be sure to follow me on there and stay up to date with what's going on. But that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will catch you guys on the next one.